Hello everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and welcome to our new video tutorial. Today we're gonna go over a pretty basic and easy but very handy and useful feature of Jet Elements plugin. Guess what it's gonna be? Yeah, I know you've already read the title of the video, so let's not wait no longer and jump into the dashboard to start creating our own really cool and custom built parallax background with the help of Elementor and Crocoblock. So guys, before we start, give me one more minute, please, because I'd like to explain what a parallax effect actually is because I'm pretty sure there are some of you who are just in the beginning of their wonderful website building journey and you might be wondering like, what? What's that parallax effect is? So this is a special technique used in the website design to kind of make the websites feel more dynamic, look more interactive and attractive for the customers. Because once they scroll down the page, the background images start moving kind of slower than the foreground images or are moving in different directions or even zooming in. So all these types of effects create an illusion of the depth of the section or the page in general. You might have seen our Crocoblock Parallax page already. If not, I'll scroll it down for you. So as you can see, there are different types of effects over here. So I'm pretty sure that you will be able to find the one that suits you the best. I decided to recreate a couple of these with you together so you could have a better understanding of how it works. So let's jump into the dashboard and first check if our parallax is actually enabled. Good. Now let's open our parallax page, which is actually completely blank and start editing. First of all, let's add a new section. Set the height to fit the screen, but guys, keep in mind that you can set a customized height and width settings. So now let's go to style tab and add a background image for our first section. Set the position to center, center, no repeat, size, cover. Good. Let's go back to the layout tab and start adding our composition layers slash layouts. Click on item number one and add our first image. It will be the background flowers. Now let's change the parallax speed. Parallax type, let's choose the mouse move and set background positions. Great, now we can do the same thing with another background flower layer. Add new item, choose media, and insert the media. Change parallax speed to 25% so it moves a bit faster than the previous one. Choose type mouse move again, you see? Now looks better. Okay, let's add another item. Let's go for the Venus. Change the parallax speed to five, so it moves just a little bit. Again, choose type mouse move. I'm not sure about you guys, but I really like the possibility of the parallax speed adjustment. It really gives a feeling of interactivity. Okay, what's next? Yes, we do need a scarlet shell for her. Let's change the speed and I want the shell to move slower than the Venus. Okay, good. Now we can set the positioning and add another item. I'll set the speed to, let's say, 70%. Choose the parallax type horizontal scroll, set the scroll direction to the left, now positioning. Okay, let's set it to 15, 20%. And 
add the new item. Okay, speed, let's make it the same, 70%, parallax type, horizontal scroll, direction to the right. Okay, positioning, 90 and 90. No, let's make it even 100. There we go. Now our composition is ready and we can easily add any widgets to it. So let's stick to the Croco style and add the heading for Elementor Parallax Effects and align it to the center. HTML tag can be set to H1 and change the color to white. Okay, good. Let's add another heading by Crocoblock. So HTML tag will be paragraph, color white, typography, 20, no, let's make it 30, and align it to the center. And right now, let's add the button as well. Change the text to purchase, align to the center, and pick the size medium. Now, I'll add the link and customize the colors of the button. Okie dokie, looks nice to me. And what do you think? Okay guys, so let's proceed with another section. I'll be using the same height settings throughout the video because this way it is much easier to see the effects in action. So now I'll add the background image, set the position to center center, no repeat, size cover, okay. To tell the truth, this parallax sample actually creeps me out, seriously. <laughs> Let's start with the lady. Insert the media. So, speed, speed, speed. Let's make it 150. There we go. I'll move her to the left. Okay. Right now, let's add another item. And let's go for the farmer. Yeah, he's a creepy one as well. Let's not use any parallax type for him. Just set the positioning and Z index. Z index actually allows us to put the layers on top of each other, which is a very useful option in case of parallax design. Okay, now we need to add the pitchfork. Let's set the speed to 110. Vertical scroll is fine. Set Z index to 2. Position 25. Nope. Even 23. And here, let's make it 5. Okay, so as you can see, we need another element over here. Let's add a new item for the hand. You see? There it is. Okay, we need it to be the top layer, so I'll change that index to 3 and remove parallax type to make it static. So let's change the background to 100% and 25%. Update the changes and preview the results. Here's our mouse move, horizontal and vertical scrolls. Let's add a headline widget to it, just like on the Croco page. So, first part, vertical, second part, parallax scrolling effect. We don't need the decorative elements. In the settings, let's make it vertical and align it to the left. Now, I'll quickly add the typography and font color settings. as well as the padding. And change the styling settings of the second part too. Okay. Actually, I'd like to change the alignment for this one. Shall we go for the next one? Okay, let's add a new section. Pick the background. Set it up. Add the first layer, 
change the speed and choose the parallax type scrolling blur. The direction will stay the same, fade in, set Z index to 1 and adjust the position. Now I'll add a lovely couple. This one is for sure better than the previous composition. Ok, set the speed and choose the parallax type scrolling transparency. So direction will be the same. Set Z index to 2 and set the position to 90 and 40 as of now. Ok, good. The last item in this composition is the grassy heel. So let's make it static and change Z index to 3 and again adjust the positioning. Ok, I don't like the fact that they are kind of behind the grass, so let's just adjust the couple's vertical offset to 0. Ok, that's better. Now we can add the headline once again to specify what kind of effects we just used. So, first part blur, second part plus opacity. Remove decorative elements, set the direction vertical, align it to the start and adjust the styling. Ok, three sections are done and five types of parallax effects have already been used. Pretty good, huh? Shall we go for another section? Choose the background and set the same settings as before. Ok, right now let's choose the image for our layout. Set the parallax speed and choose the parallax type scrolling zoom. Adjust the background position of this layer and pick the contain for the background size. Ok, now we can add the heading widget to highlight the effect. Go to the style tab to customize the widget and set the background color for it in the advanced tab settings. Let's check it out. Hmm, I actually want to move the widget just a little bit in the position in settings. Good, now it looks better. So let's proceed to the next section. Fit to screen, set the background, center center, no repeat, cover. Now let's add a first background layer of this painting. Set the speed and parallax type choose mouse move. You might ask me mouse move again? Yes guys, and in a bit you will find out why. Now in the animation property field we can choose transform 3D. There we go, you see? So as you might have guessed we'll be making a 3D parallax composition. Let's add the new item for our Mona Lisa. Choose pretty much the same kind of settings. And now let's add the frame, change the speed, choose the type, adjust the Z index and positioning. Yes, and of course enable 3D transform. Ok, and now let's add the label. 3D. And let's style it up a little bit. Ok, are you ready for the final run, Croca people? Let's add the last section for today. Set the height. Choose the background 
and customize it. Okay, good. Add the item. First, let's choose the cube, for example. Set the speed and select the type that we didn't have a chance to use yet. Scrolling rotate. Choose direction to the left, set Z index to 1 and adjust positioning. Add another item for the sphere. And repeat the procedure just with the different speed. And let's add the last item for the hat. Change the speed to 10, select scrolling rotate, adjust Z index and positioning. Final touch will be the label, rotate. Let's change the color, size, and set the positioning. Good! Now we are ready to go. So guys, as you can see, we didn't spend that much time on designing our own parallax effects with Elementor Page Builder and Crocoblock Jet Elements plugin. They look pretty nice and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to fire your imagination and use these tools to make your website more attractive, more interactive and really, really nice looking. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm pretty sure that I covered all the things that you already know and use in your projects, but I really hope that it was useful and informative for those of you who yet didn't have a chance to check out this lovely feature. So guys, please feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned for interesting videos and updates. Don't forget to submit your suggestions on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!